All right, back to the NBA. The Lakers could have one of the most experienced teams in NBA history with five players at least 35 years old. And Coach Frank Vogel is just tired of being told this team is old. Telling the Lake Show podcast, quote, we have great players on our team. Yes, some of them are towards the end of their career, but they're still producing at a high level. And if you're still producing at a high level, it doesn't matter how old you are. So I don't really care for the narrative. As we welcome back Vince and Zach. Vince, we're going to start with you. Uh, you yes. played longer than anybody oh, I'd ever. I love to hear it. <laughs> you I'd agree love to hear with it. Vogel's reaction? Oh, I love to hear it because I, I, I say, I've been saying this for a lot of years. I, I say we don't look at the years. We look at the player. You look at what is your eyes telling you? Your eyes telling you that player can produce. Not because of their age, because they can get it done regardless of their age. And, and that's, you know... Uh, it just makes me feel good. It just warmed my heart just hearing that because, you know, it, it's been the thing. And, and I get it. You know, you have a lot of young guys, and that's the way the league is. Come. I walked into the NBA many, many years ago when there was two or three young guys and all were veterans. And you had, you know, you had to you figure out. But a coach walked in, and it was understood. And that's what Frank uh, Vogel walks into. He, he walks into a training camp now, and guys understand how to play. They understand how to take care of their body. They know what to expect, how the league is run. You know, maybe you don't play in big minutes. You know, I know this is the, the low management thing. You don't play big minutes, but you can, you know now, if you don't play LeBron as many minutes, you can put in Bazemore. You can put in Ariza and, and know that these guys know how to play and won't let you down and come to play each and every night and they will take care of their body. And that's important. You know, a lot of these other teams, I mean, just look at this. Look at all the guys. You have Rondo, you have Howard, you have uh, Wayne Ellington. You have guys that understand how to play and understand how to take care of the body. So maybe they don't play mi big minutes or don't play at all. But Coach Vogel does not have to worry about these guys not taking care of themselves and being prepared. Zach, are the Lakers old? Boy. Oh, yes, they're old. I, I, hate I, that I, word I didn't narrative. say that. They are old. It. But yes. I was Go gonna, ahead. I was going to say, I hate that word narrative that Frank used. I hate that word <laughs> because it's not a narrative. It's just the thing. The Lakers are old. <laughs> right. They're just old. And Vince hit, Vince hit on a They're very old. interesting issue. V Vince hit on a very interesting issue. LeBron is second all time in minutes played, regular season and playoffs. To me, one of the interesting subplots of this season is, is this the year a team finally convinces LeBron, hey, I know you want to play all 82. I know you care about the fans. I know you care about MVP. Let's dial it back. You've been injured two of the last three years. You're number two all-time in minutes. Play 65 games. Play 31 minutes a game. Let's get ready for June, May, the playoffs, when it really matters. And, and the other point is, not all the Lakers are old. That's why I'm especially interested in some of the young guys that are here. Malik Monk, Kendrick Nunn, mm -hmm. and especially one of the most interesting Horton players Tucker. in the league this season, just 20 years old, Taylor Horton Tucker. Because if he can make enough shots, he has a 7-1 wingspan. He's got a chance to be one of those two-way guys that always thrive around LeBron. So keep an eye on him. And we'll see, you know, if LeBron decides to dial back during the season. But he's starting to ramp it up as the Athletic reports that uh, James will host a three-day mini, mini training camp, rather, starting this weekend in Las Vegas. This is a similar chemistry building function to the one hosted before the 2020 title season. This year's Lakers team returns only LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Taylor Horton Tucker from last year's team. So, Zach, how important will this be in terms of building team camaraderie with all these new faces? Well, this is where the age and experience thing might come in because all of these guys, all the guys that are 30 plus are here for one reason, and that's to chase a ring. They've all been on lots of teams. They know how to build chemistry. They know who they are in the locker room. So I don't think this team is going to struggle at all to build sort of even on-court chemistry even though all the team is brand new other than the three or four guys you mentioned, I think chemistry is going to be fine. These guys will ease right into it. They know how to do this. That is one of the benefits of, let's say, being an experienced team. Vince, did you, you go. did you ever host pre-camp camps with teammates? Yeah, we, I've definitely been a part of these, and I think they're extremely important. And, you, you, Cassie, you said one thing that is why this mini camp is happening happening, hitting the, the ground running day one. They want to win as many games. So, like to Zach, to your point, to rest and get ready for the playoffs. So if they, because they have so many new guys, yes, they're all veterans and I know they all know how to play, but 
you're talking about a different team. So maybe you don't get that touch at the elbow like you're used to. Maybe it's in a different location, but now you, you get an understanding. And they understand how important this is. LeBron being injured, hearing all of that they're too old and not really talking about the I mean, you're talking about the Lakers, but you know, you're saying the Nets first, and you he feels like you're forgetting about them. So this is how they respond to that, getting everybody in, hosting this camp and saying, hey, when we get ready to go, we're not we're taking we're kicking butt and taking names, if you if you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, it's in Las Vegas, so um, if media day, the pictures, they got some bags under their eyes, we'll, we'll know how, how much team bonding they actually did <laughs> over hey, the but weekend. they did it together. They did it together. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.